gotta go to work, I gotta do this. You add negative connotations and energy to that situation. But when you look at it like I get to go work out, and you look at it like an opportunity and then you start tapping into the manifestation of abundance, like possibilities endless. So just me being positive and putting my best foot forward with everything I do, I get to do this. I get to instead of I got to. It's really a game change. What's up, y'all? This is 1028 Awakenings, and I'm back again with another motherfucking video. What's going on, Scorpios? All right, so let's just crack right up in this motherfucker. All right. So like I always say, public service announcements. If you want a personal reading with me, y'all know where to go. The link is in the description box below. I haven't been going live often, but I will start picking back up. It's just that I'm moving. There's a lot of stuff going on right now, but just know that we will be live. Okay. If you do follow me on Instagram at 1028 Awakenings, I do do a lot of daily reads, personal reads, things of that nature. So just know that um, they're for a discounted price. They're not as expensive if you feel like my prices are expensive. All right. Okay, Scorpios, let's see what's going on in the grid for us, okay? I'm going to start off with angel, um, animal cards, animal spirits, okay? Because I've been feeling like a lot of people have been seeing a lot of different birds and animals and deers and all that stuff. And all animals have some kind of telepathic message to share with us. Um, they operate under God frequency. It's not like they, you know, gossip or talk shit about people. They literally are where they're supposed to be because... It's in divine order, okay? So let's see what animals could be coming to you in dreams. You could be seeing them around town. You could see be on you could be seeing them on Instagram. Let's see what animals crowning your read for today for my Scorpios. Alright. I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> oh wow, more than one. Damn. Okay. So let's just get into it. Okay, stop playing. All right, so we got Wolverine. Is that a Wolverine? Yeah. All right. You are a lot tougher than you think. Okay, so Scorpios, a lot of you guys could be beating yourself up. Okay, don't do that. Okay, you could take on whatever this is. Okay, so a lot of you guys have taken on some new responsibilities. Maybe you guys are feeling like, damn, like, did I bite off more than I could chew? Spirit saying, hell nah, shawty, you got it. Okay. So a lot of you guys have walked into new paradigms. That's what was happening with this new, um, this new equinox of spring. It helped you jump timelines. A lot of people jump timelines. A lot of people jumped on to a very negative timeline. Um, and how did you do that for some people, right? So with the timeline jumping that just occurred with the spring equinox, that's about you realizing where you are and knowing if that's where you need to be. And if you want to spend the next 12 years doing that same shit again, or if you want to jump on a new timeline that has more possibilities, more higher um, new opportunities, and maybe even new friends and tribes. Now, some of you guys will be going through a toxic cycle of being with toxic people for another 12 years because you just didn't understand it for the last cycle. Um, and that's why I think there's a Wolverine here because you're a lot tougher than you think. Let these people who no longer serve you go, you know, before it's too late. Okay. Then we have the whale here. Okay. Music is essential to your healing and well-being whether singing, playing an instrument, or listening, okay? So Spirit is saying that a lot of you Scorpios listen to music, but the thing is with you Scorpios, you don't just listen, you listen to the words, okay? And Spirit is telling you that's essential for healing. Know what you're listening to. Know the vibrational tones that you guys are playing. You know, I always recommend play 528 frequency all night while you guys are sleeping to just basically keep you in a harmonious state, okay? The next card that you have here is do a walking meditation every day for the next week. That's so crazy, right? I was just talking to you about meditation. Now, uh, a whale, uh, dolphins are playful energy, but a whale is more so stable. Um, and, and whales represent telepathic um, communication as well. So you could be having a telepathic communication with someone in your life. You also need to know that if something didn't pan out the way that you wanted it to, or for some of you guys, you jumped into this new timeline. Don't feel like you're going to be defeated. Don't move into thoughts of doubt. Okay. You're tougher than what you think. And spirit will never give you something that you can't bear. Okay. 
So let's do clarifying cards for each. All right. The Wolverine. All right. So spirit is telling you whatever big timeline jump you did, major purchase you did. Um, some of you guys moved. Some of you guys ended something, got a divorce. Some of you guys are um, uh, moving into a new state. Some of you guys changed jobs. Some of you guys are changing jobs as we speak. Some of you guys are moving to a new city. Spirit is telling you, you on the right path. Stay in the flow. Your purpose flows within you, okay? You got the juice within inside of you. So just know that everything that's coming towards you, you can bear this. You're in flow. You're right where you need to be, okay? All right, so let's see. Clarifying card for the whale. All right, clarifying card for the whale for my Scorpios. All right, future energy. All right, so for the whale, a lot of you guys are concerned about your finances as well. Um, I do want to read the reversal as well, okay? Um, Spirit is telling you, you need to um, just chill, just chill, all right? Because music is going to help you be in a kind of mode of accepting um, where you are in your life right now. Sometimes we listen to songs like, you going to love me for my ambition, all right? That's Wale. You're in a frequency of understanding that you're building. You're in a frequency of understanding that your drive, your tenacity, your ter determination is what's going to give you that extra push. So make sure you're not listening to sad ass, depressed ass, I hate your mama, I hate your daddy ass music, okay? If you're in the energy of you got to get the job done, you got to be successful, be confident about that, all right? Be confident about your cash flow. Give yourself the inspiration that you need from music to be abundant, okay? Now, Spirit is also telling you as you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path of a more positive energy to flow into all the areas of your life. So this is also saying to my Scorpios is that, you know, if you have energy to do something, don't procrastinate. Get your motherfucking ass up and do it. Don't push it off to later. Don't push it off to maybe later on today. Do what needs to be done in the hour that is it is presented to you, okay? Execute it and carry it out with confidence, okay? If you continue to have things that come on your plate and you don't execute them with confidence, you will be delayed, backed up, overwhelmed, just like, oh, this is a lot. OK, something that's pretty fun and exciting could become draining because you're not executing these opportunities or you're not doing the work when it is given. Next clarifying card. But if you do do it when it's div when it is given, you will see abundance. OK. All right. So spirit is telling you as you do this meditation, go outside into nature, take a walk for next week or just for the remainder of this week. You'll see a lot of stuff show up. OK, when you take this walk, definitely don't bring your phone. I know that could be scary for some of you guys. You like walk into nature with no phone, like something's going to happen to me. Nothing's going to happen to you. All right. When you take this walk, definitely pay attention to the birds you see, the animals you see, the worms you see, the ants you see, the ducks you see, the turtle you see. Any animal that you see, definitely find out what the spiritual meaning is for this animal because you got new beginnings that's coming in for you, Scorpio. All right. And these new beginnings are opportunities that you can jump onto with confidence. You can stay in flow. You can not be fearful. You can walk into this boldly because you have new beginnings with the creator. You are one with the creator and there are no limits to what can be achieved. You have the ability to create something new, incredible in your life. OK, so when you go out to, into nature with these zeros, you're going to see that you're going to be fully supported by the universe. You could be seeing 444, 888, 777, or 000. Now, these zeros is all about a reset, something new coming into your life, something new that's abundant, something new that's going to have give you fresh ideas. Now, spirit talks to us in ideas, just so you guys know. If you get an idea, you need to work that idea because it's divinely given to you for some particular reason. All right. 777 clarifying card spirit 777 from my Scorpios. All right. Spirit is telling you to pamper yourself. Go ahead and take a bath. Maybe get some eucalyptus. Some of you guys have been thinking about getting eucalyptus in your shower. Definitely do that. For some of you guys, you have a pet cat that's white. 
All right. Self-care is necessary, not a luxury. So spirit is also telling you to stay on the right path with pampering yourself, taking spiritual path, baths, okay, getting different herbs to put in your bath. That's really important that you guys should do that. That's going to help you uh, be less fearful about this new journey that you're taking in. So take a bath, whether you be a man or a woman, get you some eucalyptus, put it in your shower if you don't like taking baths as a man, okay? Um, the light just flickered off, so that's true. Um, you know, uh, put some eucalyptus in your shower, um, and that will really help the men masculines, okay? Also, Spirit is telling you to listen to music that brings you harmony and peace. Just because some people are fueled by drama doesn't mean you have to attend a performance. Make your life a drama-free zone, all right? So some of you Scorpios are going to have to put it in to a relationship that brought you a lot of joy in the past, okay? This person could have bought you a lot of lavish gifts or you could have bought this person a lot of lavish gifts, okay? But whatever relationship this is, you could be listening to sad-ass fucking music because of it. Don't do that shit, Okay? Um, in this thing with confidence and grace, um, because it just had to come to an end, you know, and just let that shit die, you know. All right. So spirit is also telling you focus on me. OK, so somebody could be focusing on you, um, Scorpio. Somebody could be from a distance watching you, everything that you're doing. But bitch, what is you doing? All right, nigga, what is you doing? You focusing on your motherfucking self. You're writing down things that you need to do. All right. You're getting yourself in priority. A lot of you guys could be doing some spring cleaning, getting rid of things that no longer serve you in your house. Just doing a lot of junk. You're just throwing stuff out. OK, some of you guys could drink a lot of um, coffee, cut down on all that coffee intake. I mean, you could be a fanatic, like you could like really like different kinds of jars. You could go in Walmart or Home Goods and buy different kinds of mugs to put the coffee in and shit like that. You need to slow down on this coffee. You need to drink more teas, okay? Um, you could also need to do a list of how you're going to purge things out of your home for some of you guys. All right, focus. If you focus on what you don't want, there's a good chance you might get it. Focus on what you do want instead, okay? So you're creating some new opportunities, Scorpio, and Spirit is telling you to get ahead of your thoughts. Focus on how all of these things are going to be coming in. They're going to be lucrative for you. You got a lot of nice opportunities. Please do not pro procrastinate on letting some things go out of your life as well. And please do not procrastinate on your work also, okay? Now, for some of you Scorpios, we're going to go to the activation gateway because some of you Scorpios have now been activated okay you can feel this you feel like something new is coming in you also feel like you know a lot of new things have manifested some things that you've been holding very dearly into your life like I said before if the camera is shaking and it's causing problems for you please do not look directly into the camera just listen to me okay because it is shaking sometimes because it's on a stand all right, so spirit guides and ancestors, what is it that you want to tell my Scorpios about their light power activations? Spirit, just give me like two cards. I don't want a whole bunch of cards, okay? Two cards at the max, spirit. What do you want to tell my Scorpios about their light activations and how they're coming online? All right, thank you. All right, so we got the central sun so a lot of you guys need to spend more time in the sun all right we also have syrian star blessings so your star seed family are going to be coming and we have star gathering wow okay so let's see what these cards are talking about okay so we have central sun here abundance downloads regen sorry regenification success okay so scorpios you guys have a lot of abundance coming towards you guys a lot of abundant ideas that's coming in your ears could be chipping out on the right and left side you are receiving a lot of downloads that's going to make you abundance and move you towards more a successful path you also have some regeneration so what that means is that you're going to have some solar downloads that's going to be coming in and you have major success your future looks very very bright you guys also need to spend more time in the sun okay um as well let me read more so what this card is talking about okay hold on 
I think these are in alphabetical order. Hold on, y'all. Sorry. Do 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 or in a matter order for a step into you this way. See, I've been watching you. All right, so somebody could be coming towards you, collective, because there's no reason for me to be singing this song, okay? The Central Sun. Um, we're going to get back to me singing that song in a minute. All right, what's the other ones? Because I can't find this shit. What is this one? The Syrian Starseed Blessing. Okay. All right, 52. Some of you guys could look up angel number 52. All right, so with this particular card here, the message is the great central sun is shining brightly in your life upon the world. This is the time to regenerate. Old energies are being washed away. Old skins have been peeled off to reveal a sacred one more aligned with what you have going on. This is a very exciting time for you, Scorpio. The central sun energy is magnetic and all powerful open you up to light and supporting you as you express your own light in this lifetime. So a lot of you guys are going to be really walking into your authentic self, Scorpio, and it's going to be a time for you to shine bright like a fucking diamond, okay? And if you a dude, it's going to be time for you to shine bright, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be time for you to really believe in yourself, go towards your goals, your ambition, and not only that, you're going to be raised above many. It's not that you're being put before anybody, it's just that you're the kind of energy that holds a certain particular vibrational light. And that light is going to inspire other people to believe in themselves and go towards their goals. You're going to get a lot of new ideas and opportunities and experiences that come very easy to you at this time. You could even people you could even feel like people are very envious because you're having these new opportunities, Scorpio. But don't allow those people to make you feel any way. The people that are going to support you will. Like the sun kisses the perfect reap of soil and seeds, you are planted and you are being encouraged to grow. Realize that in order to go beyond your horizon, it is important for you to wake up and welcome this energetic energy in exchange. When you help others, you let yourself be helped in return. When you invest your energy into your projects, you let your energy be invested in you. Okay, Scorpio? So just know that whatever projects you are investing in at this time, do them to the best of your ability, do them with your heart open and do them without anything in return. OK, just know that you're being divinely orchestrated or divinely guided to help, you know, people and it's necessary. All right. So the next card we have is the Syrian star blessing. All right. Now, <clears throat> shit. That's on page 130. So y'all can look up angel number 130 as well. There could be a message there for you. Um, so let's just jump into it. All right. This card is that this message comes with this gateway as a granted yes. So whatever you've been asking the universe for, it's a motherfucking yes. Proceed, be seen, push through. Okay. Now, it brings the energy of wishing on a star, all right, and seeing that the wish is coming true. So a lot of you Scorpios could have wished for something and it is here, okay, like it is in current time. You know, if we did past, present, and future, you know, but we didn't do it like that. This is just the overall energy for Scorpio. But something that you've been wishing on is literally here, okay? Okay. 
This is a time for you to move forward with any projects or ideas that you have felt called to carry out. There is an, an energy of positivity, abundance, and excellence surrounding you at this time, Scorpio. Whatever dreams you have been revisiting recently aren't dreams. They're more so premonitions. Know that whatever you are connecting with on this side is soon to be something that you will be experiencing in the physical. So think about what you desire instead of what you fear. See yourself celebrating as you are the as your wildest dreams come to true. And also you do so also you do you also you do so you'll be creating a perfect energy for them to manifest into this world. OK, so if you've been wanting to manifest something, it is now here. You're in current energy. You brought that manifestation here. And if it hasn't came in yet, it is coming in for you. All right. We also have star gathering 138. You could even be seeing 138. Look up angel number 138. OK, so something that you guys have been hoping for and wishing for Scorpios, it is finally here and it is a yes, you will get this. All right. Just push through if you are going through a rough time, but you will see the manifestation of your blessing. A lot of you guys wish for a car, a house, clothes. Um, a love companion. All of these things are coming in for you, Scorpio. Y'all all wish for different things, okay? The last card I have is Star Gathering. The stars are aligned for you, Scorpio. You have found you have found the lost piece of yourself and your energy. And now is your time to motherfucking shine, okay? You are magnetic. You're attracting a lot of people and energies and opportunities to you right now that allow your dreams to unfold naturally. This is the time of wish fulfillment of all directions. Focus on dreaming. These dreams have paid off. Now you, it's time for you to receive your reward. So a lot of you Scorpios are going to be receiving large sums of money. A lot of you guys are going to be receiving love. A lot of you guys are going to be receiving more space to create. A lot of you guys are going to be receiving a lot of things that you've asked for, and it's because you've done the hard work. Some of you Scorpios are scared that these things have shown up, but you don't need to be, okay? You need to focus on reaping your rewards because Scorpio, you the motherfucker who did all this goddamn hard work, real talk. It's important for you to know that this plane of existence is your rightful place and not to be spinned to you not to be spend too much trying trying to transcend this reality for you chose to be here at this time make the most of this powerful opportunity if you are here having practical if you are here feeling practical practically connected to certain individuals at this time it's because you are finding your star family you are being connected to them before you enter into a physical cycle and as long as you are connected to yourself you are home okay so a lot of you Scorpios are going to be meeting new people you know meeting new friend groups and stuff like that and these girlfriends or these boyfriends are going to be connected to you because they're going to be a part of your Syrian star family they're going to give you a lot of blessings and y'all are going to be on the same vibrational frequency you and this person could be vibrating at the same frequency or y'all could even be the same zodiac sign this shit also also just recently happened to me so you could be finding fellow scorpios that are spiritual like you you could be finding fellow people that are libras that are like you or any zodiac sign that are a part of your your um star seat family and that's because you've been asking for genuine friendships okay you've been asking for a new house a new car a new lover connection all of these things are going to happen to you scorpio all right your future looks extremely bright spend more time in the central sun but you guys have success beyond measures everything that you asked for or wished upon a star is going to be granted to you because you're in alignment and you're going to be having a soul family okay um i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys next time bye scorpios